Hello, my little friends. It's Miss Arlene again, and today I'm going to tell you a very special story from a beautiful island called Jamaica. Have you ever heard of stone soup? It's a magical soup that starts with just one tiny stone, but turns into something amazing when everyone shares. Are you ready to find out how it happens? Let's go to a colourful village in Jamaica where a clever traveller and some kind villagers make a tasty meal together. This is my version of the story of Stone Soup, set in this beautiful island called Jamaica. One hot afternoon in a little Jamaican village, a hungry traveller named Clarence walked along the dusty road. His belly grumbled like thunder in the sky. He had been travelling for days and had no food left. He stopped at the edge of the village where colourful houses dotted the landscape and thought, maybe someone here will share a meal with me. Clarence approached the first house and knocked on the door. Good afternoon. Could you spare some food for a hungry traveller? The woman at the door frowned and shook her head. We hardly have enough for ourselves. Clarence scratched his chin and smiled. Clarence continued and knocked on three or four more houses, but no one had enough food to offer him any. No worries, I'll make stone soup. The villagers gathered curiously as Clarence pulled out a smooth, shiny stone from his pocket. Clarence found an old pot and filled it with water from the village well. He placed the stone inside the pot and set it over a fire he made in the centre of a village lane. This is going to be the best stone soup you've ever tasted, he said with a grin. The villagers watched as the water boiled, but one child whispered, Can stone really make soup? Clarence took a deep breath and said, You know, this soup would be even better with a yam. An old man nodded thoughtfully and disappeared, returning moments later with a big, fresh yam. Here, add this to your stone soup, he said. Clarence chopped the yam and tossed it into the pot. This soup will be even tastier with some callaloo, Clarence announced. A farmer in the crowd nodded and said, I've got fresh callaloo in my garden. Soon the farmer returned with a bundle of leafy greens and Clarence added them to the pot. The smell of the soup began to fill the air, making everyone's mouth water. As Clarence sniffed the air and said, This soup would be perfect with a little spice, don't you think? A woman nearby quickly brought thyme, scallions and a dash of pimento. Clarence tossed them into the pot and now the soup smelled like a Jamaican feast. A young man who was standing in the distance shouted, I have some flour. I can make some dumplings to add to the soup. Yeah, man, Clarence declared. Clarence continued to season the soup with scotch bonnet pepper and a bit of this and that. A woman from the back shouted, Me have corn in me garden. Let me go get it to add to the soup. Wait, she said, I am coming just now. The villagers one by one offered carrots, cho-cho, sweet potatoes, coconut cream, butter, and one even offered a pack of soup mix to finish off the soup. After a while, the soup was ready. The delicious smell filled the village. Clarence told all the villagers to bring a bowl, and he ladled the soup into bowls and handed them out to the villagers. This stone soup is amazing, they said as they tasted it. Everyone smiled, full of food and happiness. Clarence winked and said, It wasn't the stone that made the soup, it was all of you. With bellies full and hearts light, the villagers waved goodbye to Clarence as he walked down the road, back on his journey. The villagers would never forget the day they made stone soup together and learned that sharing made everything better. And that's how a simple stone turned into a delicious soup. 
because everyone shared what they had. Wasn't that a wonderful way for the villagers to work together? Remember, just like in our story, when we share, we can make something amazing. Whether it's food, toys, or even a smile, sharing always makes things better. Thank you for joining me today, my little friends. See you next time for another exciting adventure. Please remember to tell your parents or guardian to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now!